Hey everyone, today we are looking at a new brand from GanCube, the Monster Go series. Off the bat, I have to say I'm really excited about the concept of these cubes. There are other cubes in the series which are like trainer cubes. They have a rainbow cube, a UT cube, and cloud cubes they're called. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll have a link in the description down below to a video covering those. So these two guys are gonna be the traditional three by threes. We have a magnetic and a non-magnetic version, and these are gonna function just exactly the same as a typical three by three speed cube would. So I really like the box design of this Monster Go series. The colors are really like easy on the eyes and they look fun and playful because I know this series is intended to be for a younger audience or for those that are looking to get into cubing, like whether it's parents, family, friends, whoever. So um, I think I'm also a bit impartial to it because blue and orange are the same colors that SCS uses for a lot of our uh, stuff. So definitely looks really nice. So in the box, which by the way, the box will be changing to be smaller and not have a window. So in the final version, you will see that change. So don't be surprised when that happens. The plastic that we have here, like the plastic shell that keeps it in the box is actually surprising because it, it like clicks into place, which is really good for keeping the cube sturdy in its packaging. And I'd imagine also keeping it from like crumpling because you have this like strong corner there. So. Definitely good for making sure that you can get the cubes here safely. Um, I normally don't really look at the guide for these kinds of cubes or pay much attention, but I know that the guide is actually different for the traditional three x three than what comes in like the rainbow, cloud, and UT cube. So the guide in here is just a typical three x three speed solve, or not speed solve, but a three x three tutorial in the beginning, you can see the whole collection. So we have the MG3 or Monster Go 3x3, traditional 3x3 and magnetic 3x3, which are these two. Then we have the Rainbow, Cloud, and UT 3x3s, the um, MG2 traditional 2x2 and the Black Belt 2x2. Those two are not yet released, but will be coming pretty shortly after. Um, these cubes are already in production, so they're gonna be released, I mean, like any day now. The pricing, I would say, is going to be around $8 for the non-magnetized version, but that is not yet confirmed, so that may change slightly. Uh, it could either be less or a bit more. So, I don't know exactly. I'm pretty sure the one I opened first is going to be the magnetic option, but we'll confirm in a second. So off the bat, I really like the color scheme. We have the frosted plastic here, but it seems to be a little bit glossier than what the typical frosted plastic is. Color shades are really vibrant and fluorescent, so not really much more you can ask for there. I really like this logo as well. It has the M in like the little monster head, and you have the horns right there, so it's a very creative, kind of fun logo, which I do think is um, very fitting for what the whole goal of the brand is. So we'll go ahead and just do first turns. And I was correct, this is the non-magnetized version. It's actually surprisingly bumpier than I was expecting. And the turning isn't quite as fast as I thought it would be. So I think that given the fact that these cubes are intended to be for people that are learning how to solve the cube and are not proficient by any means, I think that the turning speed is actually intentional because I know that when I'm teaching new people how to solve the cube, if it moves a little bit too quickly, they can kind of lose control of it and get frustrated. So I mean, overall though, it's a really nice feel. It just feels sort of like you have a very thick lubricant in the core, um, and that's how you're getting that kind of turning feel. It's decently loose, but also feels tight, so I don't think there's gonna be like any popping problems. Take a look underneath the center cap. There, it like went down my arm. We have an orange numerical GES with 0.6 and 0.8 settings. So again, you don't need a tool for these. You can just easily depress and rotate with your fingers like that. Oh, whoops. So really easy adjustment there. And I have to say too that given the fact that we have numerical GES in this puzzle and the fact that I can actually see honeycomb on the pieces, this is a really big, uh, it's, it's a lot of performance for someone who is gonna be, you know, likely be using this cube. So really good job to GanCube on not cutting corners and still making a quality product 
for uh, for this price for the educational kind of market and for those who are looking to get into cubing. Again, turning is really nice, so not much more to say about this one. I mean, corner cutting is good. I mean, like, like I always say with corner cutting, if you can't corner cut 45 degrees, it's like you shouldn't be releasing a 3x3 at this point in time. So the magnetic version does have a moderate strength magnetic pull, and you will notice the magnets are not exposed. They are internal, uh, or they are installed internally into the piece. Turning is pretty similar with the magnetic version. It is a bit faster and a little bit smoother because of the magnets. A little bit more controllable, but the turning speed is already so reasonable on these two that it's not really that big of a difference. Try to take a look at the pieces. Looking at the core, we have the clear plastic core and um, yeah, I mean, not really too much to see here. A pretty simple center cap design that does lock into place, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about those falling out. Looking at a corner piece, like I mentioned, we do have the honeycomb here, which is really nice. And the magnets are somewhere in here. So you'll just have to take my word on that, or I can maybe split this apart for you. Taking a look at an edge. Again, same thing with the honeycomb being right there. But other than that, it's just a pretty, pretty generic design. Not really anything crazy here. Um, there are really no new features here. Again, the goal is just to get a really nice quality cube for a low price for those who are looking to get into cubing. One interesting thing about this series is you have this sort of like shell design on the foot of the corner, which I do think is a contributing factor to that bumpy feel I was talking about earlier. Um, Cause it does kind of feel like you're, you're running over little speed bumps whenever you turn it, which really doesn't bother me, but I, it's almost like, uh, actually speed bumps is a good analogy because I do know this cube isn't like intended to be a speed cube, but it can work well as one if that makes sense. So um, this definitely, I don't think is gonna be really replacing anybody's main, but it is a really solid cube for, again, the expected $8 price for the non-magnetic version and likely around 10 or so dollars for the magnetized version. So I'll show you guys a little bit more of the turning and do a quick example solve of the magnetized Monster Go 3x3 or MG3. I have this completely on the original settings out of the box. I haven't added any lubricant or messed with the GES. Again, it's a solid cube. I like the stability of it. I like the fact that it's decently loose, um, but it doesn't really like have any popping issues. I would like it to be a bit tighter, which um, I mean, you can mess with the core settings if you want to, you know, tighten or loosen. Um, but overall, like I said, it's just, it's meant to be just a solid three by three and not really be anything special per se. So it's a nice solving experience. I think this is more than enough speed cube for a newer cuber. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what the Monster Go 3x3 is. Let me know in the comment section down below, would you be getting these either for yourself or for a family or a friend? And be sure to also check out our video we have on the Rainbow Cube, UT Cube, and Cloud Cubes if you want to see what the other Monster Go series looks like. We will have the 2x2s in shortly and make some videos about those. So lots of new content coming at you in the future. Um, and yeah, I will see you on the next video.